Good morning and happy Friday. I am just about to head into town to run some errands. There are some things that I need to pick up. I'm also going out this evening for my friend Helen's birthday. Um, so I've got quite a lot to do and I'm also taking my laptop with me so I can do a bit of work in a coffee shop somewhere. When you work from home, you kind of need to change things up every now and again because you don't have colleagues and you don't want to just be kind of sitting in the same place I guess. So I'm going to go and do some writing because I've got the website so close to being ready to go but I need to make sure I've got other content so that I can keep momentum because it is difficult with having the two channels and two websites. Getting all the content and all the videos done is quite tough so I need to go and do some of that as well. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone, do the errands and then still do a bit of work while I'm there. It's still pretty hot, it's not as bad today. I'm hoping I am not going to get a massive sweat on walking into town because that's usually what happens. Um, I think I've said before, since I've got this TM, you just when you get hot, you can't cool down. It's just a nightmare. So yeah, really hoping for this weather to go away soon. Or if we had air conditioning, it would be fine. But anyway, less said about that, let's get going. Hey, so I am back from running my errands and I didn't really film much when I was gone. I thought I would treat you to this vision of my sweaty, shiny self um, sitting in front of this fan. It was so sweaty and hot. I was absolutely melting. So I didn't really vlog. Um, to be fair, I know it's very hot and sweaty, but I think the, I've been looking into it, the tapering down off the steroids that I'm on, I'm almost off them now, um, causes excessive sweating because honestly, like it's not normal to be like, it will come over me and I'll just be like pouring with sweat. Like it's definitely not normal. It's not that hot. So I think it's more to do with that, but it's super frustrating and it's really embarrassing because you feel like it's like dripping off you and people can see, I'm sure they don't notice but anyway whatever um i got everything done i got some good work done um it was actually i find going to a coffee shop is really good if i need to write blog posts that's the one thing that i need to just be kind of concentrating and if i'm at home i get distracted so um yeah if i ever need to write content i think that's a good call to go there um now i need to get ready because we're going out this evening like i said earlier for helen's birthday so i need to go and de-sweat somehow. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Yes, I look like I'm in disguise because I am. Uh, I'm basically having to go incognito to the hairdressers because um, the hairdresser told me, I'm going lighter again, I'm getting rid of the black and red hair. I love it, but it was just supposed to be for a while and now I'm doing something different. And she told me that to get the black and red colour out, if they do that in the salon, it would be super expensive and I should go and buy this stuff that you can just get from the drugstore and do it myself, which I did. And um, Becky came last night and helped me. However, um, you can kind of see, it's obviously a lot lighter, but it looks totally shocking. It is like all kinds of different shades of like, ginger and blonde and there's grey roots and goodness knows what going on so i obviously have to go like this because i am not going out in public looking like that and um, my hairdresser is a few towns over so i've got to go and get a train so i'm gonna go and do that now hopefully i will emerge looking a lot better than this and i will show you the result when i get back hey everyone and happy wednesday so i completely forgot to vlog the rest of yesterday i think i vlogged just before I went to the hairdressers and that was it. Completely useless, I know. So this is the finished color. As you can see, the red and black is gone. I've now got kind of a dark brown on top and going down into a kind of blonde color. It's supposed to be more blonde than this, uh, but that was all she could do for the moment because obviously I had treated my hair with the color before stuff um, and they don't want to damage your hair too much. So next time I go, I will be able to have a bit more blonde Blonde in the bottom but I think she's done a really good job to say that my hair was black and red um, just before I think it's really good she is amazing the lady who does my color um, so yeah I'm super happy with that and today I haven't really left the flat I was going to go swimming um, but to be honest with you I've been having the worst period cramps TMI sorry if you don't want to know that but that's what's been going on so I've basically been laid on the couch with a hot water bottle on my stomach for a lot of the day it's just been absolutely awful I was supposed to be seeing my friend Claire this evening and honestly it's been so bad like I've just been laying there like I honestly just can't it's really painful it comes and goes it's not like it all the time um, but yeah it's been pretty horrible so I'm going to see her on Monday instead and I have just been 
relaxing basically and doing a lot of work i had a video to go up today so i've been editing and doing a lot of stuff on instagram getting photos edited and ready to go up and stuff like that so yeah it's been a fairly busy day and I also had a few things delivered from Kat Von D. I actually ordered it from Debenhams. And I got two of the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. These are the ones you see me wearing all the time. This is a replacement for the red that I'm always wearing. And I also got this one, which is called um, Lovesick, which is what I'm wearing today. And this is uh, something I've been wanting since I saw that they've invented it. It is a liquid eyeliner to go in your waterline which is something that's never existed it's supposed to be instead of a pencil but it actually stays um because your waterline is one of the hardest places to actually get eyeliner to stay good morning happy friday and apologies i have not done my hair yet um i do at least have makeup on though thank goodness so this morning i have been doing a little bit of work i am now going to try and deal with something that i've been putting off um, which is my desk it is a total mess i haven't been using it for the last couple of weeks to be honest um I have been just struggling a little bit with my back and stuff so I find the chair a little uncomfortable and when I don't use my desk I tend to just pile stuff up on there and yeah then it gets in a total state and I've decided not just to tidy it up but I want to completely get rid of everything that's on there and clear it so that it is very very basic compared to what I've got on there now um, so that I can put some of my makeup stuff out like on the shelves and things and then I can use this for filming makeup videos as like a backdrop so I can use it to work but also I can use it for that so that is the plan um, but as you can see at the moment it looks a little crazy yeah this is kind of what we're dealing with there is just a ridiculous amount of stationery there's kind of books all up here um, all of this needs to go away I don't know what I'm going to do with these lights but I'm going to put them somewhere but probably not here um, and then there's just yeah all kinds of stuff so I am going to sort this mess out happy Saturday so today I am going to see Lisa. She's been in town, she's doing something with her family and then she's coming to pick me up, I think around six, it's five now. So I've just been getting myself ready. Ian is still away this weekend. He's back Sunday evening, so tomorrow evening. I think Lisa and I are, I don't know what we're doing tonight, maybe going out for dinner or maybe we're not and we're just gonna stay in and watch a movie, I really don't know. And then tomorrow I think we're gonna go shopping and maybe something else. Lisa mentioned a few things she's thinking thinking about I think the weather's going to be quite hot so hopefully we won't be too boiling and oh, sorry it's just someone going past the window awkward um so yeah that is what is up and I thought what I would do in these vlogs the sort of next few coming up if I'm doing anything on the weekends with friends is kind of do a bit of a spotlight on that friend so I've a lot of my friends you will have met before obviously Becky and Kate um you have met Lisa as well because she's been to Florida but on this channel they kind of pop up in the videos and they're just kind of there and I thought it'd be nice to do a bit of a sort of background on how I know them. So I have known Lisa for 30 years, which is absolutely crazy. 30 year friendships are quite unusual and um, I'm very, very lucky to have Lisa as a friend. We met when we very first started school. We were in the same reception class together. And the funny thing about mine and Lisa's friendship, we were at the same school for just three years. When I was eight years old, I went to a different school. And after that, we never went to the same school we didn't live that close together like we weren't miles away but we weren't sort of down the road or anything and we've managed to stay friends this entire time and I say managed to stay friends because most of you out there will know that friends often come in and out of your life not because anything bad happens um, but keeping a friendship for that long when you're not working together or going to school together or anything can be difficult but it's just never ever even been a question of whether we would be friends Lisa is my best friend i absolutely love her i can't imagine not having her in my life we have been through everything together literally from when we were five so we have been through marriages deaths um breakups you name it absolutely everything big life events when we were at school you know all kinds of different things that you go through growing up and into adulthood i have gone through with lisa so she is just an extremely special friend to me she's absolutely amazing and she's somebody who 
is so so positive all the time no matter what is happening so even if terrible things are happening in life and really hard times lisa always sees the silver lining in everything she never lets anything get her down and drag her down too much even if she's having a bad time she's just right there again getting on with it moving on doing things she she really really is just such a positive amazing person so that is a little highlight on my friendship with lisa basically so i'm super excited to see her and um yeah she's picking me up soon so i need to make sure i am ready to go so i'm now at lisa's it is rather hot we've just been in the car i'm um, getting here and i'm boiling i've just got changed as you can see we are going out for dinner bit of a last minute thing because we've only just got here at like seven and we're having dinner at eight so we're scrambling to get ready but this is lisa's flat it's not a flat what is this called again a well technically it's a flat but masonette masonette it is lovely as you can see um so i'm staying here tonight and then tomorrow i think we're shopping and just kind of doing whatever whatever we feel like basically so i'm excited for dinner we're going to i think lisa said it's like an american place um so i'm excited because i'm hungry I haven't really eaten much today so i'm gonna go and get our eat on and maybe a cocktail because i'm just feeling a bit sassy today good morning and happy sunday we didn't finish the vlog last night we went out for our dinner and got back and watched a movie chick flick obviously which was really good and um, the food was nice we had um, mac and cheese actually which was incredible lisa had one that had prawns i had like a truffle mac and cheese it was so good and we had a couple of cocktails and this morning we're just getting ourselves ready to go shopping there's a few things that i need um and just some general browsing and probably stop for coffee and lunch and all those good things so really excited for that and the weather looks like it's gonna be hot so you can kind of see the blue sky peeking out there it's gonna be hot i think we've just been putting on sunscreen well i have lisa is so tanned that she doesn't need it she's looking ravishing there um so yeah ready for shopping can't wait not been shopping for ages no anything that you're looking for or just general browsage general kind of toiletries perhaps but obviously any dresses anything yeah. in the sale yeah like, lisa's a bit of a clothes like, shopper my wardrobe is getting tight i won't lie but i have got another wardrobe that my parents <laughs> continuing to fill up rather than reduce yeah if anyone watches the disney vlogs lisa's clothing habit is similar to becky's habit of buying mugs and cups uh, just to put that in perspective it's not that bad. anyway <laughs> we're gonna finish getting ready and then go just doing a bit of Zara browsing. Would you, you could wear tight, black tight, not black, but navy tights, like in the winter, or would it be a summer thing? Because you could wear it with like tights and a cardigan in the winter, it would actually be quite cute. It's very you, because it's navy and like checked. You're not feeling it? It is very short, isn't it? I've also made a purchase. Just a very basic black top, so not interesting. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa does not like my black obsession. <laughs> I just can't help it. I wear colours in Florida. I do wear, have like colourful play suits. Yeah, you do actually. To be fair, I have some very jazzy play suits. Oh, that doesn't look as short on as I imagined. That, that actually looks longer than I imagined it would. That's really nice. Lunch time. And we are back at Carluccio's, which is where Kate and I were a few weeks ago, because it's amazing. It's probably a bit of alfresco dining. Yeah, Lisa's got carbonara, and I have got, you can't really see it, it's in the shadows. Oh, there we go, chicken, which is what I had last time, because I'm so boring. But yeah, we are dining outside, which is amazing. It's a bit windy though. <laughs> Things keep blowing away. Yeah. Happy Tuesday! So this weekly vlog has now kind of gone into two weeks because I've had a few days here and there where I haven't been feeling on top form and I haven't vlogged so it's another one of those vlogs where I can't even remember what I have filmed. I think the last thing I filmed was um, me seeing Lisa at the weekend um, and then I obviously came home it didn't do much yesterday I kind of didn't have the best day I just wasn't really feeling that good not physically but just yeah it was a bit of a, a down day um, but I saw Claire in the evening which was really great and then today I'm feeling much better I watched um, Brogan's 
vlog this morning, Brogan Tate. If you haven't seen her, I will link her channel below. I love her, she is absolutely amazing, and her vlog this week was just so positive. Um, she's just having the best time at the moment, really just working with some great brands, and I know she's just really enjoying everything she's doing, and it comes across, and not only that, it actually kind of lifts everybody else, I'm sure, who watches it. I know it does for me, so that's really great, um, and I really enjoyed watching that today. So thank you, Brogan, just for being positive and amazing as you are. So I have just done the, finished up the weekly, not the weekly vlog, the Disney vlog for Saturday. So that's done. It's quite a long vlog, but it wasn't really um, suitable to split into two. I only ever split them into two if both halves of it are going to be interesting. Um, and I felt like it was better as one. So it will be quite long, but that is exporting and then I need to upload it and do all of that. And it's surprising how long that takes to actually get all of that side of things done. Then I need to edit this vlog, which I'm just kind of finishing up today. I think today will be the last day of this weekly vlog and then I'll start again tomorrow for the following week. And I'm watching Friends as always. <laughs> I'm not watching it actually, it's just kind of on in the background and I kind of dip in and out of watching it here and there. I'm just about to take a lunch break. It is 1 p.m. So I'm gonna have something to eat. And then Ian is out this evening. I really need to just get some work done because I saw Claire yes yesterday evening and then I had a really late start this morning. Ian and I both overslept this morning. Oops. Uh, so I just got a really late start. So yeah, I need to probably work a little bit later today. And actually I need to get something out for dinner. I think I'm gonna make fajitas. Or am I? Oh, I don't know. If I make fajitas, I'm gonna need to get chicken out. Oh, I don't know. I do not know. So while I'm just eating my lunch, I thought I would find a movie for tonight because Ian's going out so I can basically pick whatever movie I want. And I'm looking on Amazon Prime. Death Becomes Her is included on Prime. That movie is just amazing. I love Goldie Hawn. I love Bruce Willis. And that movie is just crazy good. I also found Twins on here somewhere. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, also hilarious. Uh, there it is. So that's included on Prime. So I've got choices here. Prime is actually really good. They do change up which movies are included quite often. And if you have Prime to obviously get like your parcels delivered next day and stuff, then you also get the movies. So yeah, I am going to be living the dream tonight with those two movies for sure. So it's a bit later on now and I'm just getting some work done. I've been revamping my desk. Um, I won't show you now because I'm going to do like a kind of desk workspace tour um, once I've got it sorted. I really wanted to change it up so that I could film some videos for this channel, like beauty videos and stuff. And my desk had just become too crazy. There was too much stuff everywhere. I was feeling like it wasn't a calm workspace so I really just wanted to change it up. Um, but anyway I've got loads of content to write for the new blog as well as the Disney one and also some editing so I'm gonna get on with that. much later now and as you can see hair is up I'm about to work out I know it's kind of weird working out at night um but that's just when I get time so Ian is still out I'm going to do that now I've started doing um like an older workout dvd that I used to do when I was younger it's low impact it's not too crazy like some of the newer ones you can get and I'm doing that as well as my swimming so that is what I'm doing and I can actually do it. I didn't think I would be able to. So I'm really pleased with myself that I can actually still do kind of an aerobics workout. It's not, I can't do it as well as I used to, but I can keep up with it. So that is really good. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this vlog. I don't know how long it is because it was very mixed up again. And like I say, it spans over two weeks rather than one. I don't even know what's going on. Hopefully it is... A decent length and worth watching and if it was please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video bye